Hello and welcome back to the to another lesson on HTML and CSS. And in this lesson, we're going to start coding on HTML. So I've told in the previous lessons that I'm going to use the VS Code, which is a coding software that is used to code HTML and other. So to start coding, we can we can just uh, we have to first create a folder, okay? We have to create a flow folder, and in order to do that, uh, we're just going to create this. I already created a folder here. You can see that it's blank, right? So in this folder, you can create a folder in your desktop or any other folder that you want. So here first, we're going to start by creating another folder and we're going to create this time a text document okay a text document and we're going to select it and we're going to name this index okay so once we've named this index and this time it's in a text document right but uh, why why did we name this index? I'm going to explain you. Now, the explanation is that the index represents the home page of a website. Like, this is the Wikipedia, you know, it has all these, the language variants here, uh, the English and other stuff. Uh, and these are all the options and the menus you can see here. So these represent uh, the index represents this home page and all the menus in it right so that's why we created a folder that is named index now uh, we're not done here what we have to do here is that we're going to right click it uh, we're going to open the folder and you can see that this is a notepad uh, text document right now we're going to save this so once we go to save as you can see that it's written index and it's in a text document dot txt so what we're going to do here is I'm going to uh, type in dot html all right once I do that I'm going to press enter now I'm going to cross this one. You can see here that this is a browser uh, HTML document, right? The Brave. Uh, I'm using the Brave uh, browser here, so that's why it's like the uh, browser document. And I'm just going to delete this uh, text document here. Delete it. And now, if we open this. If we open this, you can see that it's fully blank because we haven't done anything in it. That's why it's blank, right? But we want to create a website like this one right here or like this one right here. In order to do that, we have to open this uh, document in the VS Code to start coding, okay? So if I go to the VS Code here, and uh, you can see there's these are all the settings here. And before starting, we need a few uh, things as well okay so if I go to the search here and I'm going to search for some extensions so I'm going to search for some extensions here like let's search I'm going to search for some uh, live uh, so if I type in the live server here you can see here that this is uh, the extension for live server and this is very important okay why is it important because uh, you're going to need the live server extension in order to uh, view your website on a browser okay which is going to act as a server itself so and you can see here that uh, it's been downloaded by a lot of people right uh, so it's very popular and it's really useful as well it's it makes your work much more easier so I already have it installed so if you don't have it installed you have to install it and now that we've done that and we have also created uh, the index.html what we're gonna do here is we're going to first uh, 
open the folder that we created the folder in right so I'm going to go to the folder that we're going to use and I'm just going to select this folder and click on add now once I've selected the folder you can see that the index.html has arrived right so since this is in uh, an HTML format uh, it's in the form of an HTML file so once I've clicked here you can see that these are the lines that you're going to start coding in the line one so first up what we're going to do here uh, is we're going to type in an exclamatory mark here all right and once we've done that we're going to click on the tab button once we click on the tab button you can see that it's uh, there's a few codes that are pre-written here and these are the main uh, structure of the HTML okay so uh, this is a very uh, ad this is the advantage of using VS code that you can use you can just type in some type in the short codes and they'll just fill up the rest you know you can select the rest of it so you can see here that uh, previously I showed you uh, in the Wikipedia source v uh, page source uh, see this uh, the doc type HTML the head so in the same thing here we have the doc type HTML and the language and the head here okay now the head is where the uh, the titles and other stuff are placed okay and the main work is on the body here okay inside the body which is going to like uh, show the contents that are in the uh, website all right okay so next we have um, we, we're going to be we're going to I'm going to introduce you to these tags and now what are the tags you can see this the head here and the body here uh, this is the greater than and the less than sign here so these are the tags you know the body tag is this one this is the this is where the tag begins and this is where it ends and we also have the head tag here this is where the head tag begins and this is where the head tag ends you can see here all right now in the middle we have the uh, title all right title now I'm going to show you something uh, if I just right click and and click on here open with live server right it will take us to the browser all right now you can see here it took us to the browser here and uh, <coughs> in the browser you can see that it's written document right and it's fully blank because it's a blank website right now we haven't uh, done anything to it so here it's written document that's why the tight uh, it's written document here in the title now if we want to change the name here all right let's say let's change it to like my website now if we run this again in the live server uh, you can see here the title has changed into my website right now uh, the title only represents the words on the tab here right okay if we want to do anything here in the uh, website in the page we have to type in in this body tag right we have to type everything in this body tag okay so uh, now uh, the the traditional way of writing code is just uh, writing it straight up you know just writing it like this um, title you can see that it just it just uh, the ending tag appeared instantly right and inside we're going to type in anything that we want let's see like uh, the first website so if we type in the first website here you can see if I run it in the live server
you can see that the server has run and uh, in the tab uh, in the tab it's written the first website so uh, that's how you ta traditionally type in the codes so and if you want to type in anything in the website you have to use it you have to type in inside the body okay so I hope this was helpful and we're going to type codes uh, in the body in the next lesson okay I'm going to write codes and we're going to create a website in the next lesson okay I'll see you in the next lesson